Hey Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah Kodash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation, and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, the savior and the redeemer of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world anybody calls Jesus Christ, the Alpha and Omega, the first and last, and the author and finisher of our faith. So this is just a uh, article, um, you know, our brother had you know put it in our group chat, you know, going into uh, prophecies, okay, uh, what we're supposed to constantly, you know, be uh, harping in on, all right? You know, 2020, the year of prophecy, the Lord said that, um, you know, though, though it shall tarry, wait for it, for it shall surely come to pass, it shall not tarry. So we're seeing these things not tarrying, all right? We're seeing a, a lot of, um, you know, uh, current events unfolding according to the, the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So, you know, uh, we are set to, um, you know, warn, you know, and to blow the trumpet on these things, man, because these are signs of um, of the end, okay, and the return of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, which, you know, we are, the hopeful elect are, you know, uh, uh, earnestly, you know, waiting for. So this is um, from Russia Today, came out today, December 18th. says, COVID vaccine certificates could lead to, quote, global identity document, unquote, used for all aspects of life, human rights, NGO warns. All right? Used for all aspects of life. So you see, okay, they got the um, the uh, mark of the beast, all right, which is the RFID chip, the, the uh, mentality. And now they're, you know, they're bringing out, you know, the reality of, of the situation. All right. They're not going to let this, this pandemic, right, um, go to waste. Understand that. Okay. The, the wicked rulers, all right, to be would, um, is not going to, you know, the wicked rulers that be, I should say, not to be, uh, the wicked rulers uh, that be are not going to let this pandemic, you know, just uh, fade into the wind and um, act as if nothing, you know, uh, you know, act like, you know, a year or two later, this never happened. No. All right. They know they have a short time pursuing the scriptures, pursuing the prophecy. They're seeing the, the you know, uh, Israel wake up. All right. Which is also prophecy. Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, that exceeding great army. So they know that they have to move according. Uh, they have to try to, you know, uh, move according to their wicked plans. All right. Of, uh, you know, total being on that, on that godlike level. Because if you if you read the scriptures, if you know the scriptures, that's Esau, that's what he wants. All right, now I'll get that real quick. Isaiah chapter fourteen, um, Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse um, uh, where was that? Hmm. Start at verse twelve. It says, "How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer?" All right, which that word Lucifer just means, you know, light bearers, all right, or light and light one, light bearer. There you go. All right. Um, how is thou fall from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? Okay. And that's speaking about a man. All right. It's not speaking about the spiritual demon, Satan. Satan has not weakened the, the nations of the world. Who has done that? Esau, Edom, through his uh, his military, all right, his diplomacy, okay, his rape, robbing, and murdering, okay, uh, uh, his sanctioning, all right, economic weakening, you know, uh, the, the stealing of their the, of these nations' natural resources. Esau, all right, you know, primarily through his uh, through the whore, which is America, Babylon the Great, has weakened the nations. Verse 13, for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the most high. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. All right. So that's this this devil's uh, M.O. Everything he's doing, all of his technology, all of his pseudoscience, his lying wonders, his false miracles, all these things he's doing so that he can be like the Most High. That's why the scriptures says that Yahweh uh, said unto Yahweh Shai, set at thy right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. Okay, Esau, Edom, along with these other nations, but primarily Esau, Edom, is a enemy to the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai. All right, more specifically to Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai 
a power, you know, uh, in, in heaven and in earth. So this devil is trying to be like um, like the Most High and like the Son of the Most High. He's trying to be all powerful, all knowing, and have control over creation. Okay. So with that being said, this is what he's using this um, this crisis, so called crisis, as a catalyst to uh, achieve that status as like the Most High, like a God on the earth. So it says COVID-19 vaccination programs being launched around the world open the door for new forms of identification that could lead to greater government control over daily life. Privacy International has cautioned in a new report, okay, new forms of identification, the RFID, radio frequency um, identification, all right? That is what the, the, the RFID chip is. It's a, it's a form of identification. It says in its, in, in its analysis, the UK-based human group, right, human rights group said that vaccination cards and immunity passports being issued by some governments could pave the way for digital identity schemes and other forms of ID. All right, digital identity, AI, te techno, all right, transhumanism, technology, and it says schemes. And when you go into this word right here in the book of Ephesians, uh, chapter 6, verse 10, it's a lucky, verse 10, it says what? Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and, and in the power of his might. Okay, because that's what we're that's how we're going to be able to survive and endure into the end. It's not going to be through our own power, our own might, our own will, but it's going to be through the trust, faith, and belief in the power and might of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and this is what we are, you know, cautioning and warning our people to understand in these days that the knowledge and wisdom of the Lord is what's going to uh, keep you, you know, um, from all this hell that is quickly and rapidly approaching. Verse 11, it says, put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And, you know, when you go into that word wiles, it says meth, uh, methodia, right? It says uh, cunning arts, deceit, crafty, trickery. All right. Um, it's a compound word of meth method. So basically the, the schemes. Okay. The trickery. There was another word, uh, schema. Um, that's, the, that's the Greek word. But I forgot exactly where it's where it's used, um, and what scripture. But there's a scripture that says the schema. When you go into, uh, let me see, maybe a second. Stop there with me one second. Second Thessalonians two. Let's see if it's this. Uh, who's working? Coming, coming. No, that's his presence, and the working is energia. So it's a lot here. There, yeah. Um, can't find it right now, but there's a scripture that uses the word schema. All right, which you get the word scheme from. But when you go back to the um, uh, where was it? In second, uh, in Ephesians, come on. In Ephesians, the sixth chapter, the eleventh verse, it says, "What put on the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to stand against the wiles." Of the trickery, of the cunning arts, or the deceit of the devil. All right. So, going back, this is a part of his uh, his schemes or his trickery. It says, while countries like the U UK insist that such documents are simply used to keep a record of vaccinations and remind people when they need to receive a second dose of the drugs. Exactly. You know, they're trying to present it all right on the surface level as oh, it's just you know for a record of vaccinations. But no. They they have a, a hidden agenda. There's there's always a hidden secret agenda with these devils. All right, it says private Privacy International detailed how the seemingly benign cards, which on their face appear necessary, could evolve into something quite different. Going back to that whole Great Reset. All right, uh, uh, the new normal. You know, don't 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 forget about those quote those words that were being used when this whole thing popped off. It says the group said that if vaccines ever become a requirement or are used to grant certain privileges, there becomes a need to verify any related documents, essentially turning the card into a pass. And this card is going to go from a pass to a, I mean, it's going to go from a pass as a card to a digital ID, which is going to be implemented inside of you, according to prophecy, according to the scriptures. And we have to remember that 
at the end of the day, the counsel and the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will stand because he's, he is the father of spirits. So if he said that these things, that this was going to happen, that uh, there was going to be a uh, mark that's going to be put into the right hands or in the foreheads of people, then that's what's going to happen. All right. You got people that think that, oh, you know, this devil, you know, uh, Esau will never do something like that or people will never have that happen. You know, the public would never allow that. Well, guess what? The, 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 everybody that you see is under the control and will of the Lord, man. So if if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said that this was going to happen and he said his words um, do not come back to him void and he's a man that he cannot lie, all right, then that means that it's going to happen. And we're seeing the, the foundation, the you know, the foundation of of, of uh, how it's going to be, um, you, uh, how it's going to come to fruition. So it says, um, and that's when it becomes an identity document. And once you have multiple uses, uh, e.g. access to services in multiple domains, i.e. public sector, private sector, which means, you know, public businesses and private bit owned, uh, privately owned companies and multiple countries, i.e. travel, then we are approaching a global identity document needed to live your life. And that goes into what? That, uh, that mark of the beast. Because remember, it says that he causeth all. All right. And this thing is going to be in, you know, uh, globalization is, is already a thing. All right. Everything is interconnected. All right. So this, this it wouldn't be something, uh, uh, you know, far fetched that all these governments, which really are under the um, control over the one who controls the money, which is who the central bankers, that they all, you know, come in, come into an, an, an allegiance or an alliance. Uh, I'm speaking about you know majority of the westernized uh, governments coming to an allegiance or an alliance to where their population uh, um, they require their population to have a digital ID in a form of uh, the chip. So it says, according to the organization, such function creep could be harnessed by authorities to roll out a digital ID that could be used for law enforcement, counterterrorism, and migration. Areas that typically fall outside the scope of public health. Using the coronavirus pandemic, governments could shortcut public debate about these new forms of identification and what they mean for the lives of citizen, citizens, privacy international noted. The group also urged that it would be unfair to tie certain privileges or rights to COVID-19 vaccinations, which they already are speculating uh, um, that's going to that's going to happen. All right. Certain certain places won't allow you, you know, into bars, restaurants, OK, uh, gaming events, whether it be basketball, football, soccer, whatever, uh, um, concerts. All right. You already have different CEOs of airlines saying what? That they're not going to allow certain, uh, they're not going to allow people to travel without having a vaccination. Um, yeah, without having a vaccination. So this already that mindset, that that mindset of uh, privileges being revoked without the vaccination is already, you know, it's already out there. So how much more, you know, when these devils really, you know, uh, move head speed, full head steam with their uh, their their agenda of that mark? Okay. It says, as a drug is not available to everyone in some parts of the world may not gain access to the jab in the next year. Several countries have already signaled that they intend to use vaccine certificates or passports to regulate what people can and cannot do. So, once again, that mentality is already there and now the reality is, is, is here. Okay? It says, on Thursday, which was yesterday... Brazil's top court ruled that citizens can be legally required. And understand that this is why they had these UN meetings, all right? The, the, the United Nations meetings, which all of these governments, you can say, oh, you know, people from Brazil and people from Mexico, they were at the UN meetings. But understand the people that are in those authoritative seats, if more than likely, I will say the most of them are heathens. And you, if you do have an Israelite, let's say from Costa Rica or Mexico, or whatever, he is he's in league with with the with the uh the the system with with the beast okay so they're not there's nobody that's legit looking at looking after the welfare the common welfare of Israel all right the nation of Israel all right but a lot of those people that's in those uh countries that are are his, those you know the northern tribe countries a lot of the governments the people that are in those governmental seats are actually edomites that just happen to speak you know uh um uh, uh, Spanish, which really Spanish is a um, is an Edomite language anyway, from the Spaniards. 
But going on, it says uh, Brazil's top court ruled that citizens can be legally required to take a coronavirus jab, laying the ground, laying the ground for sanctions for those who refuse the drug. You see? So what kind of sanctions are, can these be? They could be fines. They can be ex um, terminations from jobs. And ultimately, they can be imprisonment. All right? That's a sanction. If you are required to legally take something and you don't, that means you are a a, a, a law a lawbreaker. Okay? Which is why... Bye. Let me finish this and I'll get that. For those who refuse the drug in Israel, the state of Israel, the government has made it clear that those who are vaccinated will be allowed to, quote... Enter places that will still be restricted to other populations, end quote. And who are those other populations? The ones who do not take the drug, uh, take the jab. So going back to what Brazil said about the sanctions, all right, and one of those sanctions can be, that's why they just use those open-ended words, can be uh, and will be imprisonment. But this is why Yahweh Shai told us this. Um, Revelation 2, verse uh, 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. So the Lord is letting us know that we're going to suffer some things, but not to fear them. Behold, the devil, all right, the same, that same crafty, you know, uh, cunning art, deceitful person that, that we have to be uh, watching out for, shall cast some of you into prison. Now, if you're going to cast us to prison, that means that we are lawbreakers, right? So they're going to create a system, create a uh, reality that, A, which they're starting now with the whole vaccination uh, not taking a jab could be a public health risk, but that's going to catapult onto what? Not taking that digital ID, not having digital ID, all right, not having a ch that uh, mark, that mark, all right, the, uh, the the which is the RFID chip, the microchip, that is going to be a, a against the law as well. So this is how this devil is going to be able to justify himself into casting some of us into prison, all right, by either being public health risks, by being domestic terrorists because we advocate uh uh you know against natural remedies all right i mean we advocate for natural remedies all right and belief and faith in the lord to heal us all right and then ultimately because we do not accept the beast all right the mark of the beast and does not worship his image which is going to in essence meaning what that we are not identified in this new system okay in this great reset we're not going to be identifiable because the way that you're going to be identifiable is going to be through digital ID, through your RFID chip. But since we won't be identifiable, we're going to be looked at as being what? Uh, uh, you know, um, criminals. So it says, so, so uh, shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So, you know, this is what we have to keep in our minds as these things are happening, man. But clearly we can see, you know, what, what time it is. We can see that the Lord is uh, moving, that these prophecies are rolling. So we got to continue to keep, um, you know, the, to, to stay focused on that, man. Let me get uh, oh, it's one of these scriptures. Yep. Um, Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. All right? Just like how Yahweh Shah said, uh, fear none of those things. Don't be troubled that these things are coming to pass. As a matter of fact, we're supposed to rejoice. We're supposed to lift up our heads because our salvation, this shows that our salvation is nigh, that this kingdom is about to be done. Yahweh Shah is about to return, all right, the line of the tribe of Judah, and deliver us and, and establish the kingdom of, of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. So do not be troubled. For all things, for all these things must need, Salakia, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right. So these things must come to pass, man. Whether you want it to, whether you believe it or not, should a faith of the should their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? The most high forbid. So we're seeing that these things are happening. And we're warning, all right, and we know that it's, it's quickly approaching, man. It shall not tarry, but it shall, uh, but it shall come to pass and accomplish that what it is it was meant to do. So you know, Lord willing, this was edifying and informative unto the elect, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakhakudash. Till next time, Shalom.